Here we are, South Philadelphia, Thursday night, the Thursday before the first official WWE event for WrestleMania week, the Friday night SmackDown before the night one of WrestleMania. There's a lot of stuff that goes on before WrestleMania. Anyway, it's South Philadelphia. It's Thursday. Well, it's not. Yeah, no, we're in South Philadelphia. One of the uh, <clears throat> one of the more famous uh, bakeries in this area in Philadelphia is Tremini Brothers. Several locations across the city. What they're known for is uh, the cannolis. Well, I, there's everything I get here is good. Um, I think this. Don't be writing book reports. This could be the original location. Oh, you go in there. It has. It's very old school. It's very. Uh, it's very good. The cannolis are very good. This is Celebrezzi Pizza. Celebrezzi Pizza. Um, right on the other side of that building is where Veteran Stadium used to be, and back in the day. Uh, the broadcasters were Harry Callis and Richie Ashburn. And whenever they would want a pizza, they would say, Hey, I wish we had Celebrezzi's would send us a pizza. And then one day, one of the, the owners of the Phillies, or one of the guys from the Phillies, like, Listen, we have a pizza sponsor. You got to talk, stop talking about Celebrezzi. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, anyway, uh, turns out. Uh, one day, they're real hungry. Game's going into extra innings. And uh, Richie Ashburn says, I want to wish a happy birthday to the Celebrezzi twins, pepperoni and plain. And about 15 minutes later, they had two pizzas in the broadcast booth. All right. So where are we? South Philadelphia. We did that. Chicky and Pete's. That's over there. Chicky and Pete's. <clears throat> is a sports bar and uh oh it's chilly that's eh, all right we'll go for a little walk uh chicky pete's is a sports bar what they're known for it even says it on the side of the bus they're uh they're famous crab fries old bay seasoning it's that white creamy cheese sauce they're very good sometimes you get the crab fries and there's too much seasoning. And you just can't do it. And I like salt, but sometimes they're too salty. And then other times you get it, there's no seasoning on it whatsoever. And that makes me uh, just as angry. Um, sometimes I buy them at the ballpark. I usually don't buy the crab fries at the ballpark. Because you could buy the crab fries... At this Chickie and Pete's, I think it's like $7. $7 for the crab fries at the stadium. I think it's 15 And there's something in my brain where I uh, I just thought, I can't do it. I'm like, nah, I just can't do it. Ooh. South Philly Tunnel. We're kind of near the cheesesteak spot Joey Marlino purchased. Uh, it's right down the street here, uh, right off of Broad. It used to be a place called Ace of Steaks. And my uh, my friend Capri from the uh, Philly Stadium, she used to like kind of work there. No, she worked there. She didn't kind of work there. And uh, so anyway, I, I think it shut down a little bit ago. And probably when Capri stopped working there, because she was working there all the time, it seemed. And then they shut down, and then I hear Joey Marlino purchased Ace of Steaks. And a lot of people are like, yo, Cap, when are you going to go try the Joey Marlino cheesesteak? And I'm going to tell you what, never, never. And if I did, I ain't going to do a review. No way. Nope. Got too much respect for the man. Anyway, we're in South Philadelphia. This is uh, this is where Rocky lives. Uh, in Rocky Two, 
he moves out of Kensington, moves on up to uh, South Philadelphia, and uh, today, where I'm going, this is pretty cool, this is a nighttime walk that's going to an event. We're going to go to this bar on 17th Street, I think it's called McCuster's, and see, I'm thinking this thing is going to be packed. And I'm a little nervous that I'm not even going to get a chance to talk to the, the special host of the event. But anyway, uh, it's WrestleMania week. And ECW started in this neighborhood, South Philadelphia. Or in this section of Philadelphia. I don't know if South Philadelphia, South Philadelphia is an area. There's neighborhoods inside South Philadelphia. It's very, you got to... There's many layers of Philadelphia. Anyway, the ECW arena was at Rittner and Swanson. Oh, 17 blocks that way. And uh, the Blue Meanie used to wrestle at the ECW arena. And tonight, the Blue Meanie is holding an event at his corner bar because the blue meanie whose real name is brian and uh brian just had an article written about him i think it was the philadelphia Inquirer, and uh they're saying the blue meanie is now known as brian in south philadelphia and to that i say bullshit he's the blue meanie i ain't I'm from like, you know, I'm sort of in the, the wrestling industry, right? I mean, I guess I am in the wrestling industry. I call all my wrestling friends, I call them by their character names. Maybe I'm doing that wrong. I just find it easier. Because I'm very bad at remembering names, you know? So, for some reason, I find it easier. You know, Blue Meanie, who the hell's named that? So I'm not calling him Brian. Let's see if I even get into this place. And uh, so I follow the Blue Meanie on Instagram. And uh, he does a lot of stuff in South Philadelphia. He always has a nice dapper haircut. And he gets his haircut at a barber shop somewhere around here. Always has a nice haircut. Almost to the point where I would like almost grow my hair and get it cut. But uh, I, I hate I hate growing out my hair. I hate combing my hair. Okay, I guess these people don't have stop signs. No, okay, you stop. You stop, I go. You do have a stop sign. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm looking for the blue meanie. Wouldn't that be funny? I, I was involved in two wrestling matches in the last 24 hours. And what actually kills me is the wrestling matches, but walking to a bar to hang out with the Blue Meanie. There it is, Stocker Street. Where are we going? We're going to 17th. So, yeah, so I follow the Blue Meanie on Instagram, and he's been promoting the ever living hell out of this event for weeks. And I was like, oh, you know what? It'd be cool if I could hang out with the Blue Meanie for a second. Oh, wow, look at this. Check out the skyline. Not too shabby. Oh. Look how they have to park in South Philly. Look at this. They have to park this way, and then they got to park this way. You got to have a permit to park at your car. It's, it's so tough to park in South Philly. Very nice houses, though. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Kind of what Kensington was like in the 80s. Except the Kensington had porch homes. My grandmother's block. They called it the Villas. I think that's what they called it. It doesn't matter. Pretty quiet. Don't they know it's the Thursday before WrestleMania? Cody Rhodes. Roman Reigns. 
Rock. The Rock. How exciting are, is it for us to have The Rock come back? I'm going to tell you, I, I'm a big rock mark. I have a Brahma Bull tattooed on my leg. I'm a huge rock fan. In 1995, I was out of wrestling. Like I was, I was out of wrestling. Like WWE was garbage. WCW was was uh, was shit. And WWF in the 80s was my everything. I just got a little too old for WWF and that cartoon style. So one day I came home. I was probably drunk. I was like 18, 19 years old. I came home 1 o'clock in the morning. And I put on Channel 48 and I put on ECW Wrestling. And it changed my life. Like, it really changed my life. And uh, it was the greatest wrestling I've ever seen. I believed the storylines. Um, you had favorite wrestlers, like ECW. So I, I went to several ECW matches. I was there tonight. Rick Rude was with Jerry the King Lawler. I was there tonight. Terry Funk, Sabu, barbed wire match. I was in the second row. Um... I was there. I, I was there all. I, Al Snow's first match in ECW. Um, so anyway, the Blue Meanie is at this event, and we're gonna go hang out with the Blue Meanie. And if 1996 me knew this was happening, he'd be so happy. And I and uh, I just want to acknowledge that 1996 me. I'm gonna tell you too. 2024 me is really thrilled too. Because he's still wrestling. <laughs> Bron, do you put ketchup on your hot dog? No. Thank, Mustard thank you. only. Good man. Let's go. Here we are. <laughs> meanie, meanie. How are you? Good man. Uh, you just did you, were you in there? No, I just came out here as old Braun Strowman oh, flexing. I just, I just got uh, married. Uh huh. You missed me got married. Oh my yeah. god. That was awesome. Yeah, that really? That was a hard seat. Yeah, I just got married. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Come here, I love you. Wow. Well, here we are. How you doing, doing fit. It was so hard my to name's Sebastian. Pleasure. Who was that? Is that Paul Strong? Not that over. Who's talking to you? This is It's Mrs. B to be your lawfully wedded wife. Yes. It's supposed to be I do. Mrs. Meanie, do you take this blue meanie to be your lawfully wedded husband? Yes! It's I do. I now preach to Mr. and Mrs. Meanie! You're good? Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Here we go. I'm gonna drop this guy. What do we do? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Everybody make some noise! My life. I don't know. <laughs> 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 
Did you hear it? It was sick though. Al Snow compared your nipples to cat nipples. Perfect. What's you that sure say it? about Al Snow? You <laughs> <laughs> too, you too. You too. Yeah. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, you just got married? The real Mrs. Me. Wow. Congratulations.